welcome back. So today's video is going to be my empties for the month of August. I almost said July there for a second. My bin again is overflowing so um, let's go ahead and jump in with the big stuff. I have like three shampoos this month and no that's not normal. Um, what is I have four bathrooms in my house, three showers, so um, I end up like with one in each bathroom and then like for some reason all three of them emptied this month. So. Uh, I'll go through these quickly. This is the Tresemme um, Beauty Full Volume Reverse System Shampoo. So this is step two. The conditioner is step one, and then you do the shampoo step two. And it's because that way um, your hair is moisturized and then it's clean, but it still feels hydrated. Like this shampoo doesn't like make your hair feel dry. It's interesting. Um, I liked it, and I think I would buy that again, but like you get in the habit of doing conditioner and then shampoo, and then you try to switch bathrooms and use different stuff, and you're like, oops, I did it in the wrong order. I forget, you know, so I like it. It's hard to remember, though. And then the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Moisturizing Shampoo. This stuff is too moisturizing for me. Um, I can only make it a day or two with this shampoo in my hair. Like, I need to wash it right away. Because it's almost like you put conditioner up on your roots and left it there for a while. That's what it feels like. And then I like this, but it's too expensive. The uh, Matrix Biolage Hydrosource Shampoo for dry hair. Again, I don't have that dry of hair. Like, I have dry hair, but it's not... I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's okay. It's like healthy, normal hair. And so when it, like, gets super duper hydrated I end up having to wash it more often and I don't want to do that so I don't need something super moisturizing I just need like in the middle and now I know that for shopping in the future I won't be buying stuff out there like that moisturizing um bleh. <laughs> dropped it says the coffee mate hazelnut creamer you know my classic favorite um, I really like it, but um, I go back and forth between sugar-free and regular. I can tell the difference. The regular is so much better, but it is would be 70 calories for me to have my coffee with this, and it's only like 40 to have my coffee with the other one, and then yeah, add the coffee calories, which is like minimal. So I don't know. I don't know what's worth it. I have a few um, bath products. Let me just show you these. This is the Body Ecology brand from Walmart. Um, Sweet Love is the scent. Bath fizzies enriched with vitamin E. So there were eight bath fizzies in here. I want to say they were about three to five dollars for eight fizzies. Um, sorry, it hurts my back to sit up like that. I've been having like a lot of back pain lately, so I'm sitting back. I know it looks awful, but I'm trying to sit up a little bit. Um, but anyway, I really like these. And compared to spending like five to ten dollars per bath fizzy, like bath bomb at Bath and Body Works or wherever. 50 cents a piece, totally worth it. Um, and this says add two or more to your bath. One is plenty for me. I don't need to go crazy and do two. Uh, but they're big, they're full size. They're not like minis or anything. Um, of course, my simple cleansing cloths. These are my favorite facial wipes. I get them on Amazon in four packs of 25. Love them. Um, Dr. Teal's, I have this all the time, the Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution, Soothe and Sleep with Lavender, my absolute favorite. There are other brands that are acceptable with lavender or just plain Epsom Salt with lavender essential oils put into the water, but this one is amazing. It's my favorite. I always go back to it. And then I have two bath bombs. I swear there's other stuff in here than bath stuff. Um, from Dollar Tree. This one is called, or they're called Treat Me. Um, one was a unicorn and one was... I don't even know, a flower or a star or something. Um, and they were fine from the Dollar Tree. So these are still double the price of the ones from Walmart at Dollar Tree. So just goes to show, just because it's at Dollar Tree doesn't mean it's a good deal. I have uh, three of these um, mini little moisturizers. The two of them are the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I really like this stuff. I would totally purchase it full price. But I'm cheap as hell. Not gonna lie. So I only use this when I get 100 point perks from Sephora. And I have not been spending at Sephora much this year. Um, like, I think I'm at like $300 for the year, which is crazy. I'm usually at Rouge by now. Um, and so I haven't been getting very many free samples. I'm gonna run out. And then another free sample was, or 100 point perk, is the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce. And I love this stuff. Again, I'm cheap as hell though. So I'm not gonna buy the full price full item. I actually don't mind the Neutrogena moisturizers or the e.l.f. ones and stuff. My skin has been super good lately. Um, no acne, no major dryness, no major oiliness. It's just like 
I don't want to say perfect because now I got to knock on wood, you know, <laughs> but um, I've been really digging my skin. It's rare, guys. Let me just like live it up. Can we just appreciate that I have like no acne? Nothing. I haven't for a long time. It's crazy. I guess because I stopped breastfeeding and I'm not on birth control anymore. I don't know. My skin is just like suddenly clear. It's amazing. Um, Vita Fusion prenatal gummies. I go through these every 45 days. So every other empties video, I have one. These are the DHA, folic acid, and multivitamin natural lemon and raspberry flavors. I love these. I take them every day, and I have for years. Um, and then the Big Sexy Hair Volumizing Blow Drying Gel. I love this stuff. I don't use it for blow drying gel. I use it just to like keep away some flyaways. It doesn't weigh down your hair that much. You know what I mean? Like some gels, I feel like you just get like. <laughs> You know, this one is like a light fluffy gel, if that makes sense. It doesn't, it's not too heavy. Um, I also used up this Clean and Clear Continuous Control, Control Acne Cleanser. This is 10% benzyl peroxide acne treatment. And it does say, after one week of use, skin is visibly clearer and less oily. Well, I don't have oily skin, but um, I use this instead of salicylic acid. I got in the habit of that when I was pregnant with Daisy, and I just stayed on benzyl peroxide, and it's been working. I also have the salicylic acid um, acne pads from Neutrogena that I use. So like when I'm not pregnant, I use those. And then benzyl peroxide is like my go-to shower one. And then I use like a ton of different things, whatever I have for, I mean, you know, I'm cheap as hell. So if I get free samples and 100 point perks, I'll use those cleansers. But for my go-tos, I use drugstore. And then Nature Made Vitamin D3. Um, I've been taking 4,000 international units a day in addition to the... Um, 400 international units IU um, per day that is in my multivitamin um, because I have MS and my doctor wants me to take it. And then last but not least, I have this Hourglass. Um, this is the Film Noir Full Spectrum Mascara in Onyx. Onyx? I don't know how you say that. O-N-Y-X. I hate this. Absolutely hate it. I can't even believe Hourglass put their name on something this crappy. It's probably super expensive. So that is it for my empties. Um, recommendations. A lot of bath stuff. One creamer. Bunch of skincare and some vitamins. Sorry I wasn't too excited with makeup, but uh, that's real life. I don't go through things so fast. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.